This is Scott from the Javelin Tech Team demonstrating some new functionality added in SOLIDWORKS 2015. There's been some nice enhancements to the linear pattern feature in SOLIDWORKS. I have an example here of a plate with a quarter, quarter inch hole on it that I want to do a linear pattern along the length. In the past I would just have the option for the spacing in the num number of instances where I would choose an edge for the direction, specify the feature I want to pick up being the hole, and then you choose the spacing that you want and the number of instances with the spacing in between. Now we have an option for up to reference where you can choose how far you want it to go. and You can choose a vertex, edge, face, or plane. I'm going to grab this far edge here. And you can see how it's going to the centroid and you have an option of doing a set spacing so it'll fit as many instances as it can up to that edge with a certain spacing, say two inches. Or I can choose a set number of instances if I know I want exactly ten instances. Now notice how it's taking the centroid right up to the edge. I want to have a gap from the back side there. So to do that there's an option here as well for an offset distance where I can type in a value and you can specify which direction you want it to go as well. But what happens if the centroid isn't exactly in the center of the profile? In this example I have a cut extrude like an L and you can see the centroid is going to be kind of off to the side. When I go to my linear pattern and I choose my direction and I pick up that feature From here I can choose up to reference and specify that far edge. And let's do the set number of instances again and I want 10. Again I want to have that offset of 0.75 inches. Notice how I'm not getting the 0.75 from the outer edge of the L because the 0.75 offset is going to the centroid right there. So what we can use instead is instead of using the centroid you can pick up the selected reference and then I can pick up an edge or a vertex so for example this edge here so that way the offset will be coming from that edge that we select.